Toyota. Toyota? Toyota? The automaker is recalling nearly 230,000 Camry sedans. Toyota is the largest vehicle manufacturer in the world. They've been making cars since 1937 and last year made 10 million vehicles. But the Japanese car giant has just made an unexpected announcement causing a stir. Rumor has it that the Japanese automaker is planning to stop making cars. Yeah, you heard that right. Toyota could be bidding farewell to some of its most iconic models in a bid to keep up with consumer trends. Join us as we explain what the Toyota CEO has just said and what led him to this decision. And before we go into detail, it's important to know one thing. Car makers pulling out of selling lower-priced passenger cars isn't something new. Other car makers that have discontinued some or all of their passenger car models in America include the following. General Motors announced in 2018 that it would stop producing six passenger car models by 2020. Fiat Chrysler FCA, stopped making passenger cars in America in 2016. Mitsubishi discontinued its passenger car models in America in 2019. Smart, a subsidiary of Daimler AG, announced in 2019 that it would exit the American market in 2020 due to low sales and high costs. But Toyota is now following the trend and will be ending one of the most iconic passenger cars in production. Toyota has hit a snag, more so in its home country, with a Toyota Camry. The Japanese automaker has announced that it'll be ending a 43-year run by stopping sales of the Camry sedan in its home country of Japan by the end of the year. While the Camry will still be available in the US and other global markets where it sold over 600,000 units last year, its popularity has waned in Japan with only around 6,000 units sold in 2022. That means that it sold only 1% of its total Camry inventory in Japan throughout last year. In a letter that sent shockwaves through the industry, Toyota has announced that it would be closing out Camry production for the Japanese market by the end of this year. The company has already halted the acceptance of Camry orders, spelling an end of an era for one of Toyota's most beloved sedans. Despite being a staple of the company's lineup for over 40 years, the decision to end Camry sales in Japan is a strategic one for Toyota. According to the Nikkei, the Camry, along with the Corolla, is considered to be one of Toyota's global strategic cars. Over the years, Toyota has sold around 1.3 million Camrys in Japan alone, and the vehicle has gone through an impressive 10 generations. However, the Camry's legacy extends far beyond Japan. With sales in over 100 countries and more than 21 million units sold worldwide, the Camry has become a cultural icon and a symbol of Toyota's commitment to quality, reliability, and innovation. Toyota is currently the last automaker selling a mid-size sedan in Japan. In fact, Honda and Nissan have completely pulled out of the competition with their Camry competitors, the Accord and Altima, respectively. Interestingly, Japanese car buyers have a preference for minivans when it comes to purchasing a vehicle for their families, leaving mid-size sedans and compact crossovers with dwindling sales. It's no secret that modern cars are getting bigger, and this trend is contributing to the decline in the popularity of these types of vehicles in Japan. Take Honda's CR-V, for example, which isn't even sold in Japan due to poor sales. It's clear that automakers need to rethink their strategies in order to adapt to the changing preferences of Japanese car buyers. According to industry experts, the decline in popularity of sedans like the Camry in Japan is due to a shift in consumer preferences towards larger vehicles such as SUVs and minivans. It seems like the Japanese are following in the footsteps of their American counterparts, but are at least a decade behind this shift. The US and European markets have been experiencing a shift in consumer preferences towards larger, more rugged vehicles like SUVs and trucks for over a decade now. But what's even more intriguing is the fact that this trend is occurring in Japan despite the country's low birth rate and shrinking population. It's almost paradoxical. As the population shrinks, you would expect consumer preferences to shift towards smaller, more fuel-efficient vehicles. Yet the opposite seems to be happening, with the Japanese consumers opting for larger SUVs instead. For some drivers, sitting behind the wheel of an SUV is like sitting atop a throne. With a commanding view of the road and a feeling of power, it's no wonder that more and more people are turning to SUVs for their daily drives. And let's not forget about the added benefits of extra space and storage, making it easy to haul around everything from groceries to camping gear. Another issue is that in Japan, Toyota sold two other sedans, 
the Mark X, and Crown that were just as big as the Camry. These cars were more luxurious, had better name recognition, and were even rear-wheel drive. It's no wonder Japanese consumers opted for these snazzier options over the Camry. But the differences don't stop there. In the 90s, the Camry in Japan and the US were completely different models. While the American version was a hit, the Japanese Camry was designed to be narrower to keep within certain road tax brackets based on exterior dimensions. However, things started to change in the 2000s. V6 equipped models were no longer sold in Japan and from 2011 onward, only the hybrid version was available. It's clear that the global auto industry is constantly evolving and adapting to changing consumer preferences. As consumers continue to prioritize comfort, space and utility, automakers like Toyota will have to keep up with the changing times to remain competitive. Despite this, the Camry remains one of Toyota's top-selling models in the US with over 295,000 units sold last year. Over the years, around 13 million Camrys have been sold in the US alone, making it one of the most popular cars on American roads. The latest 2023 model continues to deliver the same level of comfort, economy and reliability that customers have come to expect from the Camry. With a starting price of $27,315, the new Camry boasts advanced safety technologies as standard features and is available either as a fuel-efficient hybrid or with a more powerful V6 engine in the TRD version. But the US market isn't immune to the disappearance of the beloved Toyota sedans. In 2022, the Avalon bid farewell to American drivers. However, Toyota introduced a new Crown model to US shores in the same year, keeping the lineup fresh and exciting for fans of the brand. There's still plenty of other Toyota models to choose from in the land of the rising sun. For starters, there's the trusty Corolla, which has been a staple of Toyota's lineup for decades. There's also the Corolla Axio, a compact car that offers a comfortable ride and impressive fuel economy. If you're in the market for something more luxurious, you might consider the Century, a flagship sedan that's often used as a chauffeur-driven car for high-ranking officials and executives. And if you're looking to make a statement, there's the Mirai, a hydrogen fuel cell vehicle that's both environmentally friendly and stylish. Of course, Toyota also offers the popular Prius, a hybrid that's known for its exceptional gas mileage. And if you're looking for something with a bit more sportiness and flair, you might even check out the all-new Crown. This liftback-esque sedan offers a sleek design, impressive performance, and plenty of high-tech features. So while the Camry may be saying sayonara to its home market, Toyota still has plenty of other exciting options for Japanese consumers to choose from. Toyota's success with the Camry is a story for the ages. It's the ultimate tale of an automaker striking gold twice in a row. After the massive success of the Corolla in the US market, Toyota knew it had something special on its hands, but they weren't content with just one hit car. So about 15 years later, Toyota introduced the Camry as its second world car. This was a game-changing moment for the brand as they could now sell the same car across multiple global markets with minimal changes. The Camry's success was instant and has never wavered since. It's now one of the best-selling Japanese domestic market vehicles in the US and for a good reason. The Camry has continued to evolve and adapt with the times, but Toyota has never lost sight of what made it such a hit in the first place. A well-built, practical, affordable, and reliable car that could serve the needs of the masses. What do you think about this development? Let us know down in the comment section. And if you like this video and want to see more like it, please consider subscribing to Velocity, where we will bring you the latest news on Ford, Tesla, and the EV industry in general.